You're about to watch the Polly Detmerts channel. Enjoy. What's he doing now? What's he thinking now? What's he cooking now? Detmerts. What's he doing now? What's he thinking now? What's he cooking now? Detmerts. Yes. It's good to have Stanley back doing the introductions. In today's frozen pizza review, we're going to do this Pepsi Draft House, the Tap Room Double Pizza. I may have done this one already, but since I can't remember, we're going to do it again. I already cooked it. As you can see behind me, it's it's there, fully cooked. The only way to cook it at 400 degrees on the bare rack for 17 to 22 minutes, I did it for 21 minutes. I normally do it right dab in the middle. They say one sixth is a serving, so I did cut it up into six. At least it's not fifths. This stuff comes out of Sticking Green Bay, Wisconsin. Green Bay. I hate anything affiliated with Green Bay except for the sausage and cheese. Well, there's some cheese on this one, and this thing looks pretty good. Let's take a look. Yeah, not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Cut up into six. As you can see, that means six pieces. We're going to have one piece because. <laughs> That one piece is going to be 360 calories. Yes, I am wearing the Michigan hat. They are national champions. They beat Ohio State. They won the Rose Bowl against Alabama. And they won a national championship from the state I was living in, Washington. This isn't about football. This is about frozen pizza. Now, let's take a look at the ingredients. A lot of crazy stuff in there, but I don't see any bioengineered <laughs> food ingredients. Carbohydrates, 11% of your daily recommended allowance. Let's get in this one. Now, I'm trying to look at myself as the more kind, gentle, frozen pizza reviewer. Because I've been very hard on these frozen pizzas. I kind of, I think I've been judging them as true pizzas more than a frozen pizza. So we're going to ease up on the badass attitude and we're going to give it a little bit more friendlier rating. But my tongue tells my brain, my brain tells my voice to say what I think. So maybe I can't control that. And this one has, and I, I, I love the fact that it comes in this nonsense instead of a bunch of games and pop outs and pretty boxes because the pizza while it was under the packaging looked pretty good you don't want to see a game show on the box you want to see the pizza you want to know if the pizza is good and this says yeah it might be good even though it's from green bay shredded mozzarella cheese sauce italian sausage Sliced mozzarella cheese, sliced pepperoni, spicy Italian sausage, diced pepperoni, and provolone cheese. 28.8 ounces. Here we go. Let's take a look underneath. And you're seeing it before me. Now let me take a look. Not bad. Nice brownie. It's a frozen piece of Detmerds. Remember that. Yes. We got a little... We got one of these kind of crusts where you kind of just, it's not real soft or anything, but you just kind of, you can break it. <laughs> that's the magic of the frozen pizza, really. That's not really a plus, in my opinion. So let's give it a bite. It looks like it's loaded with cheese. Let's see how much sauce in there. You know, Denver's loves the sauce. Pizza sauce on a pizza. Here we go. I see a whole bunch of that sausage. 
You're watching the Pauly Detmerts channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, once you get past that cardboard. The sausage has a nice heat about it. Uh, crust, yeah, cardboard. Cheese, good. Cheese is good. Sauce, good. So, on the Pauly Detmerts 0 to 5 pepperoni pizza scale rating. 0 being the worst, 5 being the best. I'm going to give this one, uh, remember it's 2024, I'm going to be nice. A 2.2 pepperonis. How times have changed. <laughs> Hello 2024, but not bad, it it really kills me to be this nice, come on, it's not that bad, it's a frozen pizza, okay, thank you for watching, I'm Pauly, till next time, God bless.